How's it going everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf! We're going to be visiting the town of Cheville once again to see what is going on over here. It is a late night stream for me, 8 p.m. my time. Again, times are kind of weird based on uh, where you live. So this is the uh, <laughs> pretty much the Northern America, well I guess any of the Americas. Not so good for everyone over in uh, Europe. Apologies, but that's how it goes, I guess. Um, all right, anyway, let's go ahead and start this up. Yeah, tomorrow I'll be streaming at 10 a.m. my time. And again, if ever you're confused at what time zone that is for you or what time it is in your time zone, you can do that by just uh, checking the description of the video on YouTube or checking the description on Twitch here or just by typing exclamation mark schedule in the, uh, the Twitch chat. That'll get the job done. Well, there's a fossil right outside of my house. I don't know how that happened, but oh well, it's fine. Okay, something I completely forgot to do yesterday. I forgot to send a letter to someone. Uh, I feel like I should always be doing that, huh? Uh, so let me go ahead and clear some letters here. It's actually not necessarily a bad idea to hold on to some empty letters. Because remember, you can always use these as storage but only if you have letters there. So I don't actually want to clear them all out. Uh, just in case that wasn't very clear what I meant. What I mean is, let's say your inventory fills up down here. You can just store things as gifts, <laughs> even from letters that uh, were sent to you. So that's pretty handy. Uh, anyway, I figured I would let you know that, but let's see what I got. So I did get the thing from Red's gallery the other day. Dear Cousin Werner, Old Red would like to thank you again for purchasing this fine, worthy painting. You've got yourself an amazing work of art, cousin. Wonderful. Um, let's take that. That would be the worthy painting I believe I got. Yeah, hopefully it's not a fake. Then we have Bones! Howdy, Werner. Showing you around my house is a lot of fun. Of course, my style keeps changing. You just can't tie it down, you know? This is to say thanks for visiting. Sincerely, Bones. Alright, what did Bones send me, huh? He sent a side, oh, a slide puzzle. Oh, that's interesting. I got to see how that looks. All right. So I want to kind of do a little bit of looking around the town. And then my kind of goal for tonight, I want to catch some bugs and some fish and stuff like that. I think that'd be pretty good. We got to go back to that island. Although there are mini games. Oh, look at that. <laughs> hey, I solved it. Solved it. All right, I'm good. Um, yeah, there are like mini games and stuff that can be played there. Eventually, I will show those, but for right now, I think uh, I think I'll just leave it be. Uh, okay. You know what? Let me yeah. this over. I have an idea. Uh, you know what? Got to do one more. Let's go ahead and push that over there. I was thinking of putting the sleek chair in the corner. Ta-da! All right. Uh, let's actually go here. Oh, yeah, I got a pear wardrobe. You know what? I think I'd rather use that than this thing. Uh, that right there. Perfect. Yeah, that looks nice. So how are all of you guys doing tonight? I think I asked that before the stream started, but... Well, if I have heard since we started, since we began. Uh, let's see. Oh, good question here for Toka Tick. For the Turnip Mafia, it's already going to be Monday in my game due to time difference. Can I still participate? Yeah, so tomorrow morning, my time. Obviously, uh, I think you said you're from Japan, so that should take, uh, that's like quite a bit of a time difference. Same for everyone over in Australia. But, um, again, with Animal Crossing, I'll be basing everything off of my time. So, 10 a.m. my time, that's when I can buy turnips. Uh, or at least that's when I'm waking up to buy them, all right? Now, you can buy turnips in your town at any time before noon, your time, whatever it is in Animal Crossing. Um, so that's definitely a really good thing. Turnips are great to buy. You can buy them between 90 bells and 110 bells. Ideally, you'd like to buy them as cheap as possible. 
But you know what? You might end up with them even being like 110. And it's not usually that big of a deal, but for uh, for tomorrow, it might work out good. And that's this whole turn up mafia thing. So um, whoever among us has the lowest turn up prices that is in a, a time, you know, no time traveling. That's not allowed. Obviously, you know, I'm fine if it's Monday over there uh, or whatnot. Time zones, international dateline, all that. Like, that's fine. But, like, you know, no going back to, you know, the past to make sure that every single day is a, uh, wait, a clothes closet for a kitty dresser. Sure, why not? Uh, that sounds great. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's totally fine. But basically, we're just trying to find the good turnip prices. And on the Discord channel, the uh, turnip mafia one. What we should do if we want to work together on this, we can all post our turnip prices in the morning and in the afternoon, because that's when they change. And ideally, if we can all figure out the patterns, which I will share over time. Oh, it's so late. Because there are ways to really make a ton off of it. I'm not there yet, but that'll be done in the future. Um. Ever get sad when an old memory resurfaces? It's funny, even a good memory can make you cry. Of course, we try to forget some of our most painful memories, but there's always one lurking. Tarnation! It's good to live in the moment and not worry too much about the past. Wow, she must have, like, an interesting past or something. I love kind of trying to think of the villagers. Um... Oh, wait, this is... You parked right next to the campsite! See, I was so confused last time. You know what? Let's leave it a mystery who it's going to be. Let's leave it a mystery. We did that last time, and I'm actually glad about that. Uh, oh, there's the pitfall seed. I'm gonna save this. Okay, so Tokatik's saying you won't be able to buy turnips in my game, though, because it's already gonna be Monday. Uh, as long as it's before Sunday in, um, in your game, you know, feel free to invite people on the Discord channel or Discord server. Uh, you know, you can share friend codes and stuff. That's totally fine, just as long as it's not, like, deliberate time manipulation. But that could work out good, too, for anyone who wants to get a jump on turnips as well. Being able to get them sort of in the future, sort of. That's quite a drastic time zone difference for everyone in North America, for sure, which can often be an advantage. Um, in fact, likewise, if your turnips end up being, like, bad, you have more of a chance to go back in time, in a way, <laughs> to, uh... Oh, everyone's on the bridge, jeez. Alright, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll figure that out pretty soon. Um, but that's something that I think, as time goes on, we'll have a lot more fun with. Um, because that's how I do plan on making a whole ton of money with turnips. Not gonna do it this week. Uh, I mean, we are going to get some turnips. I know that much. But I don't think that uh, I will want to invest uh, everything I have on it, because I don't really have that much. Uh, all right, just a message saying that we're setting up election gyroid for the new public works project. Yeah, we want to get that campsite going. And of course, we have the new uh, benched in beautiful ordinance in place, right? Hmm. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, but you're saying that there's a weed between the trees. How did I not see that? It's a lot harder to see things at night, though. I think that's probably why. Uh, all right, you know what? Let's not turn around here. Oh, did I say keep Benchton beautiful? Keep Cheville beautiful. Sorry, it's a force of habit. Uh, let's see. Happens all the time for me. All the time. Okay, so we gotta get some more these cosmos growing, right? I don't think I watered this one. Whoops. <laughs> My bad! Uh, there we go. Hey, I'll take some free money, though. Ooh, gotta find the money rock, too. So, I need to buy... Whoops. I need to talk to Sable before the shop closes, because that's the one that closes at 9, I do so believe. Okay, where is it? Just below the tree plaza on the left side. Oh. Here? Oh, there it is. Look at that sneaky thing. Get out of here. Okay, let's see about this rock. 
Hopefully this will be it. Um, I got really lucky earlier. Nope, that's not it. Gosh darn it. I gotta make sure I'm able to mash. I didn't get all of the, uh, all of the money bags yesterday. I felt so bad. What the heck? There's another weed here. Oh, there's also fireflies. You know what? I'll probably get one of these. Show up in the summer. I don't think they really sell for a lot, but now I'm glowing with pride. Wonderful. Uh, all right. Let's see. Gotta find that money rock. Actually, I also want to see how my flowers are doing and how Olaf is doing. Oh, look at that! We got pink roses. That's lovely. How did they end up over there, though? Wait, how did they end up over there? That's weird. They should be, like, red and white. Maybe they can search across? That's so strange. How did the pink roses end up here? I didn't think that red and yellow. Maybe red and yellow does do that. Um, maybe. All right, well, we'll set it up right here. I wouldn't mind getting more. Okay, definitely like those. Olaf, are you already in bed? No, I think I saw him patrolling earlier. I don't want to set that pitfall seed for him. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, red and yellow should be orange. That's weird. I wonder why I got pink from there. See, the only thing I could think of is if this red flower saw this y white flower and then just placed it. But I don't think it can be that close. I don't know. I'm really confused right now, guys. Really confused. But it's okay. It is okay. Uh, let's see. Lasan. 39 saying it just can't seem to get blue roses going to keep trying oh, Good luck with that. I tried for such a long time on my old game and I don't think I ever got them myself It's kind of a shame Um, all right I really need to stop messing around with these flowers and get to the island that needs to be the main thing I got to do today because I need to make a whole bunch of money so I can um I can buy turnips tomorrow. Okay, so let's focus on that. Right? Well, actually, let me first go over to Main Street. How much money do I have? I like 18,000. Not great, but should be able to get some more from this. Alrighty, so... Oh, I haven't made any progress in paying off my house. Gosh darn it, that's not good. Um, let's see. A lot of people are asking how to get blue roses. And to be honest, I don't remember off the top of my head what the specific recipe is. I know, well, okay, let me, let me, uh, well, let me go back here. Um, so, the way to get blue roses, you have to breed two red, hybrid red roses. Not even normal ones, but like these special hybrid kind. You can't distinguish them from normal red roses. And I don't remember what you have to breed with. I think it's like orange and purple or something um, that breed back into a hybrid red that looks just like a normal red. And then you have to breed those together, two of the hybrid red, I think. Don't quote me on that for sure. But I know it is a... Uh, oh, whoops, wrong thing. Uh, I know that it's one of those things that's kind of... A pain. So, I don't know. We'll get there someday. Alright, let's go ahead and donate all these fossils and things. Alright, wonderful. Get them all. Oh, man. So, what do I need? Think of my character name. I need some water! Hmm. <laughs> so thirsty. Oh man, all right, let's uh, talk to Sable. Let's see what kind of clothes they have for sale over here. Oh, oh, hey, that's cool. They're building um, 
building something new in here. Nice. It's like we'll have something cool opening up hopefully tomorrow. I don't know how long it takes. I think it's just a day. They move pretty fast. Oh wow, look at that! A sleek sofa. Jeez, I guess I should probably start collecting the sleek furniture, huh? Um, that's really nice. Because, um, the more you have of the same set, the more points you'll get for that happy... I almost said happy horse academy, because I'm looking at this horse saddle! Uh, the more you'll get points for your, uh, happy home academy. So, that can be a really good thing. Um... However, you really want to have the whole set. And it does take a lot of effort to get to the whole set of things. Definitely a good thing to, uh, get some friends about. <laughs> that helps. Uh, okay. Watermelon shirt and a kiwi shirt. Ooh. 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 What do we got here? Uh, gray formal pants. That sounds so much more formal than these sweatpants I'm wearing. Look at me now! Alright, not perfect, but I will take it. Nice. Although I do kind of want this watermelon tea. Oh, it reminds me of Pico! Let me try this on. Hey! I look fresh! Oh man, that looks delicious. I'm gonna wear this thing out. Gotta get that. Uh, okay, let's talk to Sable. Um, Mayor. Murder, is it? Hey, what gives, sis? You almost never call a customer's name. <laughs> don't say things you don't need to, Mabel. Be respectful. Please feel free to take a look around. Don't mind us at all. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, let's see. Off you're asking, do you plan on collecting and displaying any particular items in your house? Personally, I plan on filling my basement entirely with zebra turkey fish. Oh, wow. Oh, wow! Gee, I wish I had some money right about now. <laughs> uh, this is one of the most expensive items in the game. Actually, I think it is the most... Royal crown. When you want to look like a king, this item is just a thing. The cost is 1.2 million bells. Ugh. So expensive. I'd at least like to try it on, if I may. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's pretty rare to see this, but it seems like it always shows up, like, in the first few days for some reason. Um, hmm. Hmm, here we go. Masquerade mask. Oh yeah, that looks actually great with the watermelon shirt. Perfect! Uh, alright, so we also have this dashing detective hat. Those times I want to look like a detective. Again, I want to buy this right now, just so it'll be added to my catalog for later. It doesn't really play a role right now, but later on, any items that you've bought you can reorder pretty much any time, as long as they are not, like, special items. Anything in here works out fine. Uh, I do want to buy this just for said collection later. Uh, alright. So I don't really want my detective hat on. Although, you know what? I don't really know if I'd rather have that or the one. You know what? Let me actually put the star hairpin on. I think that looks better with the masquerade mask and the watermelon shirt. Yeah, there we go. That's in style. I'm going to be fishing and bug catching in style tonight. Oh, yeah. Bugs will never see it coming. Oh, never mind. Uh, anyway, let me, uh, let me just uh, get on out of here before I make any more jokes. And um, let's see. I wonder who's going to move in tomorrow. That is a big mystery. Someone is good, but I'm going to keep it a surprise. I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Um, all right. Let's see. Oh, great. It's you. What do you have to say? Hey, good evening, Warder. It sure is a good one, right? With a sure it is. So what's going on? All right, let's talk. I've got the urge, Warder. No. No. The urge to eat fruit. I can't resist the call of a certain kind. Yes, I can smell the sweet perfume of a peach on the wind. Please get one for me. As much as I want to say away, or no way, I think uh, I'll get him a poisonous peach. Fine, I'll get him a peach. Um. 
Okay, let's grab this. I wish I had a rotten peach right about now. I would still give it to him. But I don't. Okay, I brought you your peach, pal. Oh, my poor inventory. Ah, uh, here you go. Uh, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> uh, so fruity, so flavorful. This hits the spot perfectly. Yeah, like, you hit the spot of my flowers perfectly. Uh, I'm sure that you went through a lot of trouble for that word. I really need to reward you. I doubt my music stand comes anywhere close, so please, you've earned a gift. Thanks. Hey, you know, I was always going to associate you with that fruit from now on. Yeah. Show yous, boss! Alright, anyway, I gotta get rid of some stuff. Um... Oh man, I'm wondering who the heck is moving in now. This is so wild. Alright, let me set up my little thing here. Oh, it's it! Alright, it's mashing time. Lots of money. All the money. You gotta be really fast with it in order to get all the bags. Oops. I don't even have any money. Or not any money, but any room. So, you know what I said. There we go. This will clear a little bit of room for now. Ah, shout outs to the motorcycles. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Goldie! Hey. Uh, let's see. I keep having this dream about a kitty dresser. I think my subconscious is trying to tell me I need one. But where would I find such a thing? What? You have one? What a strange coincidence. Um, would you be willing to sell me yours? Uh, sure. Why not? 429 bells. Sure. Why not? I don't really care. It's taking up room. Alright. There we go. See, and that makes her happy, which is nice. All right, let's see. Yeah, so that made a good amount of money. Okie dokie. I need to clear room in my inventory, so what don't I need here? Um, I don't really need the sweatpants. I'd like to keep all these things, though. So, let me go back. Oh, you know what? What is my initiative today? Local fruit. Selling five of any fruit ripened on the trees. Oh, that's good. Oh, stash at least 5,000 bells in an envelope. Myself, that gets two coupons. That's pretty good. I should probably do that. Be a responsible person. Pull off, leave. Oh, he's still there. I just wanted to throw his music stand on the ground in front of them. Um, all right, this is Leonardo's house, right? No, it's Bones' house. Still getting used to everyone. Still getting used to them. All righty, so let's see. How you doing, Bones? So like my place, huh? Anyway, did you need something? I just want to chat. Our town seems a lot cleaner than before. There's not much trash or weeds, and the air is really fresh. I'm pretty sure it's all because of the ordinance you put in place. Tch. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, let's see. We need to... Oh, I wonder who the heck Ledger is. Ah, oh, Curiosity. Just boiling over right now. Uh, alright, but you know what? Before we go to the island, let me go ahead and drop off... Oh, let me grab some more peaches. Do do do. Um. Hmm. Oh man. Okay. Beautiful days for asking the important question here. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Oh yeah. So that whole robbery thing that happened in Benchton. And all your furniture went missing. Did you just set it up, or did your stuff legit disappear? Uh, it it may have been slightly set up just a little bit. Just a something entertaining. Uh, the real culprit. Let's just say we did find out who it was who was responsible for those 
Atrocities. It was quiet! She did it. She turned to the life of crime afterwards. I was gonna do more with that. I just remember being really busy around then, so I didn't really have time to flesh out that whole plot, but it was gonna be really funny. Um... Okay, so we have the five fruit that I need. Okay, let's go ahead and drop off some of this stuff, and then head on over to the island. Make a bunch of money. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna drop it off in here for now. Alright, that looks good. Okay, so... It is island time. Oh man, I'm hearing a lot of people ran into the tarantula tonight. <laughs> yeah, so it's a very rare bug. It's like this big spider thing, and it'll chase after you. It is a pain to catch, too, and it's quite rare. So if you see one, you gotta watch out. But it's one of the, I think, just two uh, critters that will actually attack you. So it's quite scary. What are you doing just standing around here? Uh, let's see. Have you ever spent any time hanging out with Tutu and Goldie? I want to know whether they're really good friends or just pretending. Oh, probably just pretending. I don't really trust Tutu anymore. She's suspicious. She's always with Olaf. Uh, oh, hey, look. My orange tulips. They've grown. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and set these up here. Oh, I haven't seen Sylvia yet today. Uh, let's see. Little Jedi plays asking if I've seen the news about the attacks in London. I have. I really don't want to spend much time thinking about that. Just my heart's. Or my heart goes out to everyone affected by that. And it's just terrible we live in a world where so many people have to live in fear. But let's try to just keep positivity in the stream tonight. Uh, alright, anyway, I caught a moth! Finally saw the light. Cool! Uh, alright, let me go ahead and drop this off here. Actually, I guess I have that moth now. Hmm. Well, it's okay, I'm probably gonna get some new things. I'll just keep it on me. Uh, no, no, I don't actually want to buy this flower. Sorry. Actually, just want to sell some uh, peaches. Okay, deal. Okay, now I need to put five thousand bells. You can do it just by clicking your bells here, then you just say how much you want of it. All right, I need to uh, send a letter to myself, right? That's kind of silly. Well, it's fine. I think I'll go ahead and do that anyway. Uh, let me go ahead and... I did water these, right? Yeah, I did. What was that over there? <gasps> there it is! It's a tarantula! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there it is. I got it! Nice! Oh, that's so good! <laughs> I don't trust this, man! Oh, man! I don't think I ever got that even in Benchton! That is really good! Yeah, like, part of me wanted to let you, uh, see what happens if you mess with that thing, or if it sights you. Like, it had its eyes on me! Ooh, man! Yeah, that's, uh, that's really good. They only show up around the summer. Um, I'm really glad that I noticed it off in the distance, though. I thought I saw something over there, and I couldn't quite tell what it was. Jeez. It's my lucky day today, I guess, huh? Uh, alright, I want to sell this sapphire. And I want to get this tarantula out of my inventory, like, right now. Uh, hey, thanks for the 100 bits for that, Lisanne39, saying congratulations. Yeah, it's uh, definitely worth congratulating. It's one of those things that is a pain to get. Definitely a pain. Uh, alright. You know what? 
Anna, it's getting kind of hot in here. It's just that tarantula. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, jeez. Well, we got it, so that's a really nice thing. Oh. Yeah, well, next time I see a tarantula, okay? Next time I see one, I will let it attack me. Just so, uh, you'll see what happens. Usually, you don't even see them until it's too late, because you're not thinking, and then, like, next thing you know, you just get attacked and knocked out. And it's really scary. It happened to me once. It was really funny. I don't remember if it happened in Benchton or... I think it did. And I never caught it. But I did see it and I tried. Or maybe I did catch it and I'm just misremembering. But whatever the case, I did not think I'd be getting one on the, like, the first try. On like the third night that they're available. So, score. Score indeed. Um, all right, let's see. Gotta get this thing. Hey, hey, Blathers, I got something for you. Uh, I'm just gonna give him this just directly. <laughs> hey, come on. Uh, yeah, all right, there you go. I wish you would have said something really funny about it. Not really even worth it. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Oh, I need to buy a letter, too. That's right. Send myself some bells. Alright, there we go. Uh, let's see. Can we see it displayed? Um, not tonight. I think we'll do that later. I do want to spend some time trying to raise at least 100,000 bells. So, I'm kind of running a little, a little short on time for that. Should be able to. I think we'll be alright. We'll have to see. I don't have an optimal setup for the island, but I think we'll do okay. Uh, alright. I also do need to make sure I get my meow coupons. Ooh, rainbow paper. All right, I would like some of that. Okay, I gotta send a letter to myself, apparently. Future me! You're looking like a million bells there, partner. So, here are 5,000 of them. Get ya going. They <laughs> Perfect. Um, all right, yeehaw. I love writing letters for myself. Okay, let's see. I need to do that more often. I really want to write a letter once a day. I think that'd be a neat thing. And that's why I, I was sad. I forgot about that yesterday. Totally forgot. Got so distracted on the island. Um, alright, so... Let's go ahead and send this thing a... Uh... My future self. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Great way to, uh, launder some money. Uh, let's send that on the... 5th. Sure. I'll forget all about it. Oh, well, that's neat. You can send it, like, at any time in the future. So I'll have to make, like, a time capsule. I'll have to say, okay, I'm gonna send this to myself on, like, August 28th or something. And then I won't be expecting it. And it'll be like, wait, what? And it'll just be from me. It's like, oh, okay. I'll say, how's it going, Maryland? Maryland here! <laughs> right? Oh, man. Alright, alright. Anyway... Um, 
Let me go grab those coupons really fast. Then we'll be good to go. Oh, so glad I got that tarantula. Jeez. It was a beast. All right. I should have a good amount of them here. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should see who's over in the uh, place. Let's go see. And then look at the campground. Go do that. And then I'm just going to... Uh, gonna see... What the? Who that? Oh, it's Bianca? Oh, Blanca. <laughs> hey, so you're the mayor of this town, right? How come you didn't throw a welcome party for me? Ah, I'm just kidding, man. Gotcha. Uh, nice face. Are you one of those people who goes camping with a whole load of cooking supplies? Not me. I cook everything with a stick and fire. It's fun to live like a cave person for a little while. Uh-huh, I see. Wow, that's a weird-looking thing. Uh... What the heck is this stuff? Oh, it's like... Oh, maybe it's been, like, modified or something. That's interesting. Well, I don't need any of this, but it's kind of cool that I can get some. Alright, see... Uh, never mind. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go away to the island. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I'm happy with some of the flowers I got today. What in tarnation are you doing over there? Hm. Where Sylvia is? Let's see. So, oh, yeah, how are my little trees doing over here? Well, they're growing, making some progress. That's a good thing. Alrighty, to the island to make money. So it's thousand bells, but again, I'll make. I'd like to make a hundred thousand. It's ambitious, but I think I can do it. I think I can. Hopefully. Um. <sighs> All right, let's see. Fang Lightwind asking, you get an update for ACNL if you have the old game. You do! It's a free update. Super awesome. Super easy to get. Uh, this is also a great time to uh, ask stuff or talk in the chat while this guy sings. Uh, let's see. Redwater Game asking, is it normal for your character to trip a lot? Ooh, that means you're having an unlucky day. So there is like this kind of hidden stat, like a luck stat kind of thing. And based on the clothes you're wearing, based on the feng shui in your house and all that, like things can affect your luck. And if your luck is too low, you're more than likely to have bad luck when interacting with villagers and other things. And you'll also trip while you're running. So, yeah, <laughs> good luck with that. It's just random, though. There's not really a lot you can do if you're having an unlucky day. Later on, you can get um, someone to at least give you an idea of how to fix it. But that's way later. Alrighty, well... That was a nice, relaxing ride. I think uh, that's a great time to answer questions and just talk with the chat because I don't want to have to skip it. I feel like it's not something that should be skipped. Uh, let's see. Whimsical Curiosity asking, Maryland, if you could have any Animal Crossing of your choice come to Cheville, would it be and why? I actually don't know. I mean, as much as I love Gladys over here, um, like, part of me thinks it's better to have a new legend. I think that's important. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let me go ahead and get some items here. So I'm not gonna bother with anything else today other than the bug net and the fishing rod. 
Uh, Tokatik asking, can I sing Captain's songs? I could not do them justice. Okay, so... Ideally, you want to find these beetles that are on the trees. And actually, these butterflies go for a reasonable amount, if I recall. Maybe like a thousand or two thousand. Uh, I don't even have them, but I have this one, so... Let's see, but there are golden... Oh, I don't have that. Yeah, this might take two trips, because I'm probably going to end up getting a whole bunch of things that I don't have. That's okay. So, what I like to do... Oh, you know what? Oh, there it is. Look at that big, big beetle there. So those are your money makers, and they do take a little bit of practice. As long as you're slow sneaking up to them, you should be able to get them without too much trouble. The trick is you just got to be really slow and not like rush into things. If you're moving like this, moving too fast. Uh, I don't, I don't think I have that. <laughs> it's a wharf roach, right? Oh no, it's a tiger beetle. I have gotten one of those before. Let's see, so I can chop down these trees in the middle, but again, there's no real way to plant them back. So it's kind of one of those things you just have to decide. Do you want it to be, uh, you know, more efficient or do you want it to look nice? But at least the bananas down here, you can usually do a reasonable job at replanting. You can also just chase away any bugs and I think that helps with stuff. There, look at that beetle. That's a good one. All right, so we're just gonna sneak up on it. Wait until we're about here. Ta-da! That's a good one, a horned Hercules. So these beetles sell for several thousand each, and you can make some good money. Although sharks are definitely good money, and you can't make a lot of uh, bells from them, the problem is, it's a lot harder to get sharks to... Oh, that one's not like a great beetle, but we'll get the job done. I know we don't have it. Um, ideally, if you're making money, you don't want to bother with these. Or in Dynastid. Um, but you know what? We don't have to be super ambitious. As long as I can just make a decent amount tonight, that'll be good. That's why I think I will get some of those... Um, Emperor butterflies, because if I recall, they're actually not terrible. They're not ideal, but they're not terrible. Um, so one thing you gotta watch out for if you're not doing a lot of optimization here. Get rid of that. Um don't want to approach trees like directly from the top. Because if there is a bug on them, you are not going to be able to effectively catch it. It'll probably run away. By the time you uh, get your net out and stuff. All right, there we go. We don't have this one. This is what, a Miyama? No, a Cyclomatus stag. This thing looks crazy. Uh, oh, there's a good one. We already have one of these. So this one's just some cash. Boop. It does take practice, but again... The, uh, the most important thing I can just remind you is slow and steady. Try to approach from the sides if you can. Or at least, like, wait for them to spawn on the sides. Alright, let's see. Tokatik saying Emperor Butterflies are 2,500 bells. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's actually a little bit better than I thought. I was worried that they were only... Wait, is that... I don't know if I have this thing or not. Okay, let's grab that. It's just a fruit beetle, right? Yeah, there's another one. It's um a rainbow something. I think or maybe it's just a rainbow beetle. And it is pretty profitable and also pretty darn rare. I was probably going a little bit too fast there, but oh well, it's okay. Oh, a scarab beetle. Yeah, that might be the thing I'm thinking of. All right, so as you can see, it's kind of making it so bugs spawn is really good. I think my kind of safe zone is over here. Oh, that's a wharf roach, right? That's a wharf roach. Nice. 
I actually didn't have one of those. You don't need them. They're not really expensive, like, if you're trying to make money. But I do want to get one just in case. Let's see. I want to move this tree back a little bit. I think, is that a golden one? I don't think so. Sometimes it's hard to tell at night. All right, let's see. Whoa! Oh, it is a golden stag. Nice. This is a very rare one. Well, not like super, super rare, but it's worth 15,000. So you definitely want to get those, but you have to be very, very, very slow um, while catching them because they, they run away like in an instant. Uh, oh no, I don't have any room. Well, I guess we'll let it go. Okay, so there's some money down the drain, but it's not really a big deal. Also, if you're not getting a lot of good results, sometimes I find I just go uh, go inside and then come back out, and sometimes that fixes things. Okay, let's see. We're going to drop this stuff off. So a lot of this is new. I'm going to try to put whatever new I can up here towards the top um okay i'm gonna save those two spots just for more new things all right let's see oh <laughs> i can't even oh man um yeah bugs are really nice Fish are good too, like you can make money from fishing on here, if that's your cup of tea. I just, I definitely prefer catching the beetles. Because it just gotta be low and steady. And also, once you get really good at it, you'll just want to chase away the low tier beetles. Because they only give like a few thousand. Um, as opposed to the high tier ones which give like multiple thousand or maybe more than ten thousand. Because it's just not worth catching them if you can avoid it. Uh, are those both? They are. Yeah, they are. Okay, let's see. Uh, Reciful asking, so is your YouTube channel an archive now? No, not at all. It's just, uh, like right now, um, the series that are going on there are just streams. But that's just because I'm kind of in an interim I need to work on another series, but these are also a lot easier to edit. And also another thing, people like them. They like watching on YouTube. I was actually pretty surprised at that. It takes a lot less time to edit, and uh, people tend to enjoy the extra content as opposed to waiting. Now we have a nice consistent schedule. I can work on things on the side. Pretty cool. Uh, all right, let's see. Yeah, so this is a good way to make money. So, let's see. Um, Okatik asking, what do you think about your new villager, Sylvia? Uh, I think she's all right so far. I haven't really had much of a chance to interact with her, though. Horned Atlas. It's like a weight has been lifted. Oh, I haven't had this one yet. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Reciful saying, yeah, yeah, I've been digging the series. I've been playing along, actually. Oh, well, that's awesome. Great to hear. Yeah, I, uh, I did a series way back, but I kept it on another channel because I wasn't really sure if people would like the whole, you know, stream archive thing or not. And I don't know. But as time's gone on, I found that people actually, they like it on YouTube just fine. I mean, it's definitely different, but... It's not overly objectionable, especially because it gives them a chance to watch more of, you know, other content creators they like to watch. So it's a good compromise. I like it. Also, so much easier to uh, do. Like, this is super relaxing. I like Animal Crossing. I don't have to worry about, like, any kind of post-production. Just kind of get in and play. And also, as opposed to my old Benchton series, now it's just kind of like... Whenever I feel like it. Oh, there's another. I think that's a golden stag. You get to kind of be familiar with their shape after a while, but you have to be really slow. Got it. 
Uh, no. Or, yeah, it is. Nice. Well, there's another uh, 15,000. <laughs> hey. Great. And there's also that thing. That thing's actually not very expensive. Might not be able to see it, but I saw it all right. Look at that. This thing is huge. It's like an owl moth, I think. Uh, oh no, an oak silk moth. Who's smooth now? Wonderful. Um, let's see. <laughs> Angel Demon 1997 say, you make catching those things look so easy. Well, hopefully this will give people uh, some good kind of advice on how to catch bugs. I guess I've gotten kind of okay at it over the years. Um, so much of it comes with practice, of course. But again, super simple, um, super simple steps to getting better. It's just, you know, walk slowly and take your time. Oh, that was probably a golden stag right there because it was like that distance. They, you have to be sneaking the whole time. Uh, that's why ideally I don't like having these trees so bunched together down here, but it's okay. Again, it's not really that big of a deal. Just remember, we'll be here. We can always get more. Uh, all right. There we go. What am I doing on inventory space? Pretty good. Good. All right. Don't need that. It's pretty bad. That. Okay, let's make the trip down south here. Doo -doo. I feel like I should turn up the brightness on uh, nighttime streams. <laughs> it does get a little dark. Okay. I'm gonna chop down this tree before we leave. What was that? Another one. Slow and steady. There we go. Right into the net. Okay. Uh, let's see. This has actually been a pretty good night. I wasn't expecting to get so much out of here. Uh, let's see. So you don't like having to move around the whole island like this. That's why just being able to kind of get an eye on your trees is fine. Good there. Uh, there. All right, so how many of you guys think Olaf is innocent? <laughs> we gotta get a hashtag or something going for that, right? I've seen a few people start to think he was framed or he was set up or something. Uh, I caught a saw stag. Never saw that one coming. Team Olaf. I don't like him, but again, you know, he just... Oh, darn it. Wow. I'm so bad at this game, I missed a bug. No, I'm just playing. Uh, can't win them all. Uh, all right, let's see. <laughs> I don't like him. I think he he's pretty mean. But we've been pretty mean to him, too. I just hope we haven't crossed the line. All right, let's see. <laughs> Watching you guys is great in the chat. Oh, man. Yeah, the villagers have been pretty interesting so far. Oh, there's nothing. Uh, let's see. Bugs show up. Oh, there's a shark. So again, I don't really try to make sharks like my main thing, but go for it. Oh, <laughs> geez, I wasn't expecting it to uh, bite so soon. Well, alrighty then. Okay, there's another shark. These do make a lot of money. 
All right, look at it. No, 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 look at it, you. Oh, so close. Oh, man, yeah, they're really tough to catch. That thing. Have that one. Um, let's see. Sharks go for, I think, 15,000. That's the most valuable thing you can get by fishing, Sinister Stark. Let's grab this thing. Oh, there we go. Uh, I ate a glow stick asking, just curious, do you eat any fish being a vegetarian or no? A goliath beetle. Um, no, I don't eat any fish. I eat dairy, eat eggs, but I don't eat any fish. Uh, let's see. I believe that's a pescatarian. You do eat fish. Yeah! Uh, let's see. Reciful asking, do you have any tips for the whole flower mechanic? Still trying to learn it. So, I'm even still learning stuff to this day. But, one thing that is pretty nice is, um, apparently you can just plant flowers in, like, a diamond shape. Like, let's say you have one here, and then one here, here, and here. And I think they hybridize with any, within eight, or like a three by three centered around it. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, you can do all right with that. You have to figure out which kinds of flowers to grow, like all the different combinations. Again, that's something that you can usually just Google, and there should be plenty of articles out there. I don't remember them all off the top of my head, unfortunately. I know some basic ones are like, you know, red and white make pink for a lot of things. Um, I know that, uh, let's see. Usually yellow and red will make orange. Those are more basic ones. And then there's like second level hybrids and stuff. So it does take some time. But also another thing, I think if you're only watering the flowers that you want to hybridize, I think those are the only ones with a chance to do so. So that'll also improve your odds if you want to do that rather than watering everything. And, of course, it should probably go without saying, keep your town beautiful is the ordinance you'll want to have if you're doing that, so then nothing will, um, nothing will, uh, go bad. Wilt. Oh my gosh, Bacon Weasel saying, I saw the best vegetarian meme the other day. It was like, I'm not a vegetarian because I love animals. I'm a vegetarian because I hate plants. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, let's grab you. Oh, I gotta check my inventory. Oh, another thing to keep in mind with uh, flowers and growing them is after you've gotten two of the flowers, you can just kind of set them next to each other and water them, and you don't have to... Uh, worry about turning them into hybrids again um they'll just you know uh reproduce from themselves which is nice so pretty much after you've gotten your second blue rose which is probably the rarest um you'll be set okay what am i missing here this thing right all right we're gonna swap you Oh, and a saw stag. Didn't I get one of those? Yes, I did. All right. Look at all these bugs. Cool, so I think we have enough for one more load of critters. And we might even have enough time for another batch, too, which will be great. Uh, let's see. Fang Lightwind asking, will we be getting any of the island fish you don't have? I will be. But I'm not going to focus on that tonight. Bugs are where I like to make my money from. Get a good amount by bugs in comparison to fish. You do get a lot for fish as well. Don't get me wrong, but I find that going for beetles tends to make more money. Right now, I'm in it for the money. I'll come back here later. Thankfully, everything here is here year-round as far as I know. Okay, we're good. Um, oh, hello. 
don't know if we're gonna get it. I'm not feeling good. You can sometimes tell, by the way, how alert they are because see, like now it's kind of wriggling more. So it's not really like too afraid or anything. But if you notice them just kind of stop, then they're likely to run away. Yeah, another golden stag, a whole bunch of money. There we go. I think these are 8,000, this one. Is it the elephant beetle? I don't remember. It's been such a long time since I've actually done this. No, yeah, horned elephant, close enough. Uh, okay. Mind getting old scarab. I think that's here somewhere. It can be a tough one to distinguish because it's like a smaller beetle. Oh, there we go. Sneak up this one. Do 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 do. Got it. <laughs> All right. Uh, how is this one? Okay, we're good. We're good. Good. Uh, there's a Miyama stag, which they don't sell for like a ton. On that tree over there. But you know what? I don't really care. I think that's fine by me. I'll take what I can. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I'm not as good at hitting the trees inside. We'll get this one. Wonderful. Uh, let's see. Spooky Venom one asking, uh, well, not really asking, but saying, in the meantime, I'll be heading to sleep. Have fun making plenty of moolah, Devin. Can't really contribute much to the Turnip Mafia because of UK time. Oh, don't worry. Trust me. That will, uh, that'll actually help out for this because, again, you'll have access to different times, too, which can sometimes be helpful. Everyone will play a role in the Turnip Mafia. It's maybe not initially. All right, these ones sell for a pretty good amount, if I recall. Just a pain getting it from this angle. Uh, <laughs> all right, it's fine. Yeah, I'll have more details on that later. That'll be something that'll pick up more, because, okay, we haven't seen how much money I'm gonna make from this little trip here just yet, um, but it's definitely over 100,000 bells. Probably closer to two, maybe even 300. I don't think 300, this isn't optimized. Um, but pretty good amount of bells. So, yeah, but it does take some time. Now, in, uh, when you're, tell if that's the, or what? I'm gonna catch it just in case. Oh, no, it's just a fruit. Um, in the same amount of time, after you have enough capital, you can actually make far more money by buying and selling turnips. Which is what I recommend for making just obscene amounts of money. Especially if you have a community that's working together to, uh, to find good turnip prices. And once you learn the tricks to keep track of them. Again, that's probably not going to be a this week kind of thing, because it's something... That will take a while to explain. I mean, unless I happen to get lucky, I'll try to refresh my memory on exactly what the steps are. But it's uh, something that does require a little bit of research and a little bit of tracking. Like you want a spreadsheet or something, which maybe I'll share like a spreadsheet blank for you. You can keep track of turnip prices yourself. I'll talk about it tomorrow morning. Don't worry. On top of that, I think maybe tomorrow afternoon, my time, we'll do a subscriber special thing. So I've been getting friend codes from subscribers, which subscribers that is, um, over in the Discord channel, which you can join if you're a subscriber. You just have to make sure that you're, uh, oh, darn it, that was a golden one. <laughs> uh, you just have to make sure that your Discord and Twitch accounts are linked. You can do, I believe, from Discord directly. 
then it should automatically detect the server, which is nice. But yeah, um, I've been gathering friend codes over there. And it might be fun to do something. Maybe I'll visit another town or bring some people in here or do something tomorrow afternoon. We'll have to see. Um, have to figure out who will join, too. Because, again, there's quite a few that are interested. And I'm not sure. I think we can only have up to four in a town at once. But that should be, uh, should be fine. I think we'll have a lot of fun regardless. And anyone who isn't around, well, not isn't around, but anyone who isn't able to get in, let's say if it fills up or if I pick other people, because again, you only have limited room, we'll have next week. week after that. I think maybe doing that on Sunday could be fun. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's not too chaotic. Hopefully not. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Those aren't biting recently, huh? Which usually is a good thing. It's gonna scare some bugs away. It's superstition, but I think sometimes that can help. Alright, there we go. Miyama Stag! Yeah, they're not great, but I'll take it. Take it. Still really good at this point in the game. Okay, I really want to be careful with this one over here. It feels like there's always a golden stag, and it always flies away, so I really just need to handle it with caution. So much of this, like the tricks behind this, you just want to make sure you have plenty of distance between you and these trees here. Ooh, shark. Let's go for it. Hey, I got it! <laughs> I almost got thrown off by those bits, too! <laughs> uh, from Notag7 with 100 bits saying, Hey, Marilyn, tossing you my ad bits. Thanks so much for that! Oh, got my stylus. Thanks so much for tossing me your hard-earned ad bits. That is great. Uh, all right, and <laughs> it didn't even distract me from the hammerhead shark. Must just be uh, some good luck there. So, yeah, I'll, I'm not going to sell that one. I'm going to actually add that to my collection. Uh, let's see. You know what? I don't really feel like. I want some better bugs. Give me the good bugs. Where are they all hiding at? Where are they all hiding at? Uh. Do, do, do. All right, we got to do the sneak down here. This tree. I don't trust this tree. Okay, that tree is fine. So it's the next tree that's really bad. This one. All right, we're good. There's usually enough distance between here. Like, the angle's a little different, so it's easier to see. Oh, there we go. There's a nice one. All right, let's go grab this. I'm probably being a little preemptive here. Oh, man, almost threw me off again! <laughs> uh, pink and yellow princess! subscribing for the second month in a row. That's awesome, saying, I love this Animal Crossing stream. I'm so excited. Oh, thank you so much for your big service and subscribing. That is awesome. Be sure to uh, check out the Discord if you haven't already. I'll try to have better instructions on that on Twitch or something so people know. Um, but yeah, that's something I... Well, I guess I've offered it for a while, but I haven't really made a big deal about it because we like switched servers and stuff like that. A little complicated, but now it's like, yeah, get on over there. One. If you're not familiar with what that is, it's think of it kind of like a cross between, say, Skype and like an old instant messenger with chat rooms and stuff like that, except just for the Maryland community, just for Twitch subscribers. I know a lot of you would love it to be available. You know, without having to, quote-unquote, pay for it. But, um, I'm just not really able to have a public server. It's a lot more of a pain to moderate. A lot more of a, a an issue with that. Um, and, you know, I don't always have time for that. I figured we can chat in these streams. They're just as good for the most part. Um, so it's kind of like a reward. But it is, uh, it is a really cool one. A subscriber, so be sure to check that out. Oh, look at this guy. 
Hey. Let's have to sneak around it. That, yeah. Got him. Okay, how am I doing for inventory space? Okay, I got five more. I'd probably get rid of one, too, if I happen to be blessed with some really good bugs. Nothing there. We're fine. Okay, jump in the water, why don't you? Ooh, hey. Hi, these are what you want to see. They are high-tier beetles. Oh, yeah, there we go. And ideally, you want as many high-tier beetles in your inventory as possible. If these ones here, they're low-tier. They're pretty bad. Let's chase them away. After you've gotten, like, a few. I mean, they sell for a few thousand. Don't get me wrong. It's not like they're terrible, but you can do better. You can do better. Um, do... Not there. Actually, wait, there's one right after here. Uh... Nope. Go away, go, go away. <laughs> go away, go, go, shoo. 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 Okay, I gotta stop running around. Uh, let's see. Nothing. Oh, nothing. Oh, darn it. I think there was something on the on that one. <laughs> yeah, if ever you smack your net down, um, it is kind of like a, a noise, and it can scare nearby bugs, so that's why I don't want to have my net held all the time. Uh, let's see. Sakuraba saying, did you know that apparently there's villager tears and on Animal Crossing forums there's villager sales that feel almost like an underground black market. It's kind of scary. Marshall is apparently the most expensive and popular villager and can sell for up to 10 million bells. I had him but didn't realize the sort of community existed when he moved away. Oh man, I hate to break it to you, but it can be even more than that. Um, I did a lot of research on the, the villager market way back because I had some kind of rare villagers in my town of Waffles. I had, uh, I didn't have Marshall, but I did have Diana, Julian, and, oh, there was one other that was pretty rare, too. And, like, they would go for, like, tens of millions. It's pretty ridiculous. Of course, actually, in thinking about it, nowadays, you can just use the Amiibo cards, so maybe the money, like, the amount of bells it takes is just a lot less, because people would much rather have the actual card. Um... I know Anka's worth a lot. I actually do have the Bell Tree rarities in my database of villagers. So theoretically, I could put them on the layout or do something different based on that. I'm not currently doing anything with it, but it was actually cool. I found this really neat um, resource. I don't remember what the URL is off the top of my head. Didn't even require credit, which is pretty nice, but... Um, just have like a list of all the villagers and little icons and stuff like that. I'm not using those icons. I use these ones from the Spriter's resource, I think it was. There's was, like a, a whole sheet of them and I had to prop them from the sheet and name them individually. So it was a bit of a process with that. They look really good. Um, but yeah, anyway, that had the database. It had a... Their rarities based on bell tree forms. It's kind of nice. Let's see, although I don't really care, because again, it's really more of like a, like an aggregate of everyone's favorites. But everyone individually has some that they just really like for some reason, and maybe they aren't on the list, or well, they'd be on the list, but they aren't like high tier or anything. Like, Gladys, okay? She's no one special to pretty much anyone else, but she's, like, tier one for me. Um, 
And that's just kind of how it goes, you know? Everyone has different, like, preferences and stuff. Different favorites. Alright, I need one more bug. Oh, I don't really want it to be this. Uh, let's see. Sinister Stark saying, Oh wait, Maryland, when you started playing Animal Crossing, did you have a favorite soundtrack to any version of the games? You know, I can't really think off the top of my head. Like, so much of the music, it blends together because it's so kind of like relaxing and stuff. The only thing is, I know that I did not like, in fact, it actually makes me very unsettled. I think it's, ah, darn it, I don't remember if it's 7 or 8 p.m. Go away, fish. I honestly don't remember, but one of those, it just really unsettles me for some reason. Do not like it. Um... Sounds sad for some reason. I always hated whenever it rolled over that when I was playing. Okay. I really want to settle for this butterfly. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Cause I can come back and make a lot more money. Alright, Emperor Butterfly. Beautiful. Okay, let's go. Time to take all my stuff. Right on out of here. Right on out of here. Woo! Okay, let's see how much money I end up making from this. I think we'll actually do pretty darn good. So, I need to move that tiger beetle. Is there anything else new I got? I don't think so. Oh, do we not have enough room? We do not have enough room, uh, which is fine. We'll just leave the Miyama stag at home because I know it doesn't make very much. I don't remember what Tiger Beetle makes, actually. Anyone know off the top of your head what a Tiger Beetle makes? Or... Oh, actually, I bet this, like, Kilometer stag probably makes more than Horn Dynastid. We'll do that. That's fine. Uh, alright. I'm going home. So I will end up losing these beetles. They'll be redeemed for a little bit of money. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Um, but it's not a huge deal. We'll still make plenty. Okay, let's go home. I'm going back. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'll get a little bit of money. So whatever is still in your inventory, you get like a very small amount. All right, we're going home. So, how did you uh, enjoy this? Hmm. Need a border. Uh, how did you enjoy the little island tour? Did you learn anything? Did you have fun? Just kind of chilling. It was actually pretty good. A lot of you tuned in for this too. I was surprised. Maybe we'll do another round of it. Not to see. Um, it's gonna take a while to sell all this stuff though, because I have to run back and forth to, uh, whatchamacallit, um, retail. Oh, yeah, retail will be open for a while. Ugh, all right, all right, let's see. Stretch a little bit. Heck. We've been so much streaming today. Well, at least a little bit. Okay, so there you go. Uh, I wasn't even paying attention to what Captain was saying. He could have been... You know, singing his, uh, his life away, and I wouldn't even noticed. Uh, all right, let's see. Okay, thank you for the stuff. Now, let's go make some money. But first things first. Oh, you know what? Let me reorder this. First things first. Let me take some stuff to the museum. All this stuff should be new. Wow, all of it. Nice. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, let's see. Uh, J.L. Lester, hopefully I got that right, 42 asking, Can you explain the Worder thing? Is it just a reference to the Pokemon speedrunner Worcester? Or is it just a coincidence? <laughs> Actually, it has nothing to do with Worcester. That's kind of funny. I hadn't even thought about that. Um, no, it's, uh... It's just, like, a thing that happened because while streaming, I don't know, a while back, I always needed my water. 
No! <laughs> All right, we got time for a story. I always needed my water. Like, I'd always be like, Err, I need my water. You know, I'd just, I'd make, like, a funny sound with it. And it just kind of stuck ever since then. It's like, yeah, I'm going to get my, my water. And I, I don't know. It's just... It's a thing. Uh, it's like a... I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, but I'm just kind of stuck after that. So that's why I just, I call it Warder as a joke. Kind of a half joke, half spiel thing, you know. A thing, a Marylandism, you know. Um, Just to be silly. I feel like watering cans are dangerous and my love of benches and things like that. Like there's a whole bunch of just inside references someday i should really make like a video like explaining some of these because there really are a whole bunch of different things that uh that have just happened over the years and trying to explain them is pretty tough uh all right yeah he took everything wonderful yeah Zvon Del Dun Dun has the word of the day that I was missing to describe this. Memes. They're Maryland memes. Kind of. Well, sort of. I don't I don't know. Like, yeah, I guess some of them are memes, but like I almost wonder if Warder is a meme or a Marylandism. Like a thing. Like, yeah, beautiful days for with Machoke ain't no joke. It machoke! Like, that's definitely meme. Oh look at that little tree. But, like other things. That are just kind of like Marylandy. Wait, what is this butterfly? Look at that. Oh, wait, it's just another Emperor one. Well, sure, I'll take an extra 3,500. 2,500, that's what it is. Oh, get back here. Really? You're, you're gonna play hard to get. <laughs> uh, okay. At least butterflies, they don't like dash off if you miss them. So just keep swinging at them and eventually you'll get them. Tutu, I don't trust you anymore. Working with Olaf. You're way too buddy buddy with Olaf. Uh, let's see. I need to go this way. That's gonna throw me off like 10 times, I bet. Alright, time to make a lot of money. Whole bunch of money. Well, at least for my standards. So, right now we're at what, like 20,000, 25,000, something like that. All right, I'm not even gonna put my best ones in, just like bunch them together. So we're at 25,000 bells. How much money am I gonna make? Let's find out. Uh, let's see. I don't like the position of retail. That's probably my big regret of town so far. I think it'll work out okay in the long run, but, mm, oh well. Alrighty. Oh, there's bones. Doing some shopping. Something like a little late night shopping, right? Alrighty, here we go. Wait, did I have a fruit beetle? Oh man, I don't know if I donated that or not. I think I did. I probably should have gotten rid of that. It's pretty garbage. Okay, uh, 61,000 bells. Thank you very much. Woo, yeah. All right, I think I'm going to be getting over 100,000 bells today. So, theoretically, theoretically, I could get, um, could pay off my loan today. Yeah, shake that tree. Here, let me show you how it's done. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but the, the thing's closed, so I can't. Actually, I could pay it off, but it doesn't really matter because it's not going to build anything. Look at this thing. It doesn't sell for a lot, but eh, I'll take it. It's a big thing. Uh, whoa, wrong way. Wrong way. We ain't benched in no more. Mm-hmm. All right, let me take the rest of my bugs. What do you think? Should we do another run to the island? I think that would be alright. Three more! Gosh darn it. Yeah, let me know if you would like to see another run. We have until 11, theoretically, for, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, um, for 
retail to stay open. That's really the big kind of timeline we have to stick by. Actually, that's sort of a lie. <laughs> sort of a lie. I do, uh, I do want to get back. Oh, I have a, I have a show I need to watch tonight. <laughs> I gotta watch more House of Cards. Uh, all right, let's see. So I don't want to stay too late. But I think there'd probably be enough time for another run. Ninety-four thousand bells. Yeah. So you can only hold up to ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine bells in your wallet, but you can store all of your extra bells in, um, in like bags. So yeah, you can have up to ninety-nine thousand bells in a stack. One thousand per stack of like bag money. So. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, let's see. This way. All right, let's sell off this stuff. So pretty good money, I'd have to say. Wait, no, not that. This. Nice! Mr. Alex289 with 100 bits saying, Hey Marilyn, I usually only watch you on YouTube, but I figured I'd show up and toss some bits! Thank you so much for the bits! That is awesome and some big service. Glad you could uh, tune in to watch this live. But it's also convenient that you don't even have to. You can see some of it on YouTube as well. It's enjoyable regardless of where you're watching it. At least I hope! I really do hope so. Hopefully you have a good time. Learn some things. Relax, unwind, maybe leave it on in the background to do some stuff. Alright, um, I never check my turnip prices. Doesn't really matter, I don't have turnips right now, but that's what the final number ended up being. Yeah, 18,500, that's pretty good. So 199,000, we made like, what, 170, 165,000, I think? 72 bells, ugh. All right, let's see. I need to go back to the island. Let's make some more money. We're gonna do that. Catch some more bugs. All the bugs. Oh, there it is. There's another tarantula. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll do it. I'll let it get me. Okay, come here, come here. Come on, do it, do it. He sees me. He sees me. He sees me. Want some. Yeah, I mean, if I were to try to catch it right now, I might be able to, but... Mammy. Ow! Ow! Die! <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that wasn't a really good showing, but we'll just assume it was so gruesome that that tree needed to cover it up. Uh, yeah, so that's what happens when you don't catch a tarantula on the first try. <laughs> I thought you guys might like to see that. Um, dang, two tarantulas in one night, though. It's gotta be my lucky watermelon shirt. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't remember how much they sell for, too. I'll catch the next one. Uh, all right. We need to give him, we need to give, give Olaf a tarantula. <laughs> That's what we need to do. Oh, I'll do that. I'll get a tarantula, I'll send it to Olaf. Actually, I think that would be hilarious. <laughs> He's always watching, waiting for the day to strike. Oh, man. Oh, thank you for letting me know. Chaco Taco saying tarantulas only sell for 8,000, sadly. That's pretty good, but it's not like the end of the world. Um, I think it's probably more fun to get knocked out by tarantulas, to be honest. All right. Oh, that's right. Voldecourt saying you can't send bugs and fish in letters. All right. I'll have to uh, hold on to it for when he wants to redecorate then. See, there we go. There we go. That's what you do. That's what you do. 
Uh, be taking more of the mere kindness to be a man. What makes a man? Honor! Honor and a boat trip. Somewhere. The island, of course. That's what makes a man. Right? Yeah, of course. Um, anyway. <laughs> Let's, uh, move along from another theme that is definitely not PG. <laughs> Oh, all right, all right. Landing over on the island. Going back to doing more bug catching. Try to get a little bit of that. Hey, JL Lester 42 got the uh, got the reference. <laughs> yeah, it's from Shin Chan. Shin Chan, whatever. Uh, yeah. Um, I haven't watched that in ages. I watched that like a long time ago. Alrighty, so one thing you always got to remember is to actually pick up your bug catching net and fishing rod. Not like I've ever forgotten that at any point in my life. In fact, there's a point where you don't even need the fishing rod. I'm just holding on to it because I need sharks at some point anyway. Um, but as you do more, like, you can just forget about it and just stick with, uh, bugs. You see how profitable they are. Uh, in fact, we actually made a lot more than that. Remember, we, like, donated our whole first inventory, well, my whole first inventory, to the, um, museum. Get in the, get, get in the water. Uh, so we actually technically made more money than that. Let's see. Oh, there's a shark. Well, I mean, since it's right there, I'll go for it. Come on. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I always try to close my eyes while catching sharks. Just because it makes them a little bit easier to catch. Because all you need to do is just listen. And uh, then react based on that. But yeah. It's a Clomatus stag. It's not like a lot, but it's not terrible. It's better than any of the other bugs. Like, inwards. Well, most of the other inwards bugs. Okay, let's run up here. Wish I knew more about, like, the mechanics of spawning the bugs. Usually just kind of do my own thing. I guess I will go ahead and get the Emperor Butterflies. Um... This doesn't have to be, like, optimal trip. I'd rather just, like, make a little bit of money tonight. And go about my business. Oh, no. I feel like it must be a fairly lucky night or something. Some nights are definitely better than others, but I think between the two tarantulas and all the golden stags I got. There we go. Uh, let's see. Toka Tick asking, do I find fishing more challenging in New Leaf or in Stardew Valley? I find it more challenging in Stardew Valley. It's a lot easier in uh, Animal Crossing because it's just reaction. You'll either get it or you won't. Uh, let's get rid of you. Which I don't remember if I had that one or not. I think it's just a Miyama stag, right? Well, I don't need it anyway. What's that? Oh, that's a pretty big one. I think it's an Atlas one, right? Do, 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 do. Get ya. Get ya. Yeah. Horned Atlas. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Oh, I should go a little slow. Just in case that one has a beetle. Actually, I think this one might, too. We're good after this. Ooh, hello. Get in my pocket. Bam. Very nice. Get out of here. Get out of here. 
Get out of here, all you bugs. Um. Slowly, just in case. This one. Nope. Nothing there. Get out of here. Go, go away. These things are so derpy. It's fun just watching them like scurry around. All right. We're there. Then. Derby bugs. Get out of here. Give me the good ones. Not there. Man, not there either. Okay, I'll take the Cyclomatus Stag. Mine. All right, wonderful. Uh, we have... Get out of here. <laughs> a lot more relaxing. So, how are you guys doing? Uh, let's see. Trying to make some conversation while bug catching. You can see it's a process. It takes a little bit of time. Um, let's see. Ulicious saying, watching someone play Animal Crossing while you're playing Animal Crossing is surreal as heck, and I don't know why. It's got to be extra surreal then hearing your message be read aloud while playing Animal Crossing, watching someone playing Animal Crossing, reading your message about how surreal it is, watching someone play Animal Crossing while you're playing Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh, I think I, my brain just exploded a little bit. Uh, <laughs> oh man, all right, let's see. Um, I could use a few more golden stags tonight though. Not gonna lie, that'd be pretty sweet. Got so many on that first trip. It was good. Now there's not any. But I mean, I've gotten a few, a few good bugs so far, so it's not like that bad. It just, I mean, you know, it's always the one you're going for. Uh, anything over here? Nothing. Yeah, I'm probably gonna take down these trees and put more trees on the side have them off in like a like a fan shape kind of thing I just don't want to do that tonight actually maybe I should do that tonight and thinking about it then it'll be ready for me next time I get on yeah you know what let me do that briefly okay I need a shovel and I need a axe and axe I there we go. All right, let's see. So those ones are okay up there, but it's these ones down here that need to go. They're just getting in my way. Oh, whoops, actually, let me check this other one over here. Yeah, we're good. Um, Actually, something just scurried off. It might've been something. Get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> ah, I'm savage. Yeah, there we go. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and take this out of here. Take this out of here. And let's take this out of here. Now, what am I going to do with all these bananas? I'm going to plant them. So let's go ahead and I want them to be, like, easy to see. There. No, not there for sure. This. No, that's too close to the water. It's also gonna make fishing for sharks a pain too. If we did like that. And maybe like that one's not gonna grow. I wanted to move here. There we go. That should be good. Okay, and then we'll put one like maybe right there. That should be fine. 
Okay, well, let's... Go away! Okay, time to bury some bananas. I do have bananas already back in, uh... Cheville? Um... Son, or... Yeah. 30, or less and 39, I'm sorry. Um... I do have bananas already, so I'm good. Actually got bananas from Olaf! I know! What is that all about? Okay, so we got that done. So now I could just like walk right on over here and it shouldn't be a problem. Ooh. Hello. Uh let's see. What time is KK slider again? I'm not entirely sure. I think it's at eight. I think as long as it's Oh man! It snuck away. What a sneak. Uh, I think as long as it is nighttime out, should be fine. I don't have Club LOL yet. Club 101, as I often call it. Let's see. Actually, this looks pretty good. I'm gonna put one here. Should be pretty nice. And maybe, like, one here. Actually, that'd be pretty good. I think we'd have enough coverage. Okay, let's grab the rest of these bananas. This. Get rid of this. I don't want to chop down these trees in the middle because they're pretty much impossible to get back. All right, let's see. There are ways, though. Unless they patch them. I think I recall you can get certain fruit while playing the mini games and you can just, like, take it with you. <laughs> Which is kind of crazy. Um... But yeah, I'd rather keep like the bushes and the trees there. Even though they have bugs that are not all that ideal, it's not really that much of a hassle scaring them away. Ooh, I gotta put this axe away before someone gets hurt. Okay, uh, maybe I'll show that at another time. So I'm going to put the axe and the shovel away. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to drop off these other items for the time being. We'll do that, and that way, uh, I don't know. We're not feeling really good about all the bugs that are out there. We're going to refresh it. We all have our superstitions when it comes to stuff, right? It's one of mine. I think that they, like, refresh or something. Cool, there we go. Um, let's go on over here. And we're gonna start this again. Now I don't have to worry about there being bugs in the middle. So I can just like run right down the middle. and won't scare anything away. And now I can just kind of like see from a distance. Hey, there's a Cyclopidus stag over there. So I can just... Yeah, I'm way early on that one. Okay, there we go. I think I snuck up too fast on that Hercules one that <laughs> flew away a little bit ago. I feel like that was what was up. All right. Doo, doo, doo. Um, let's see. And Rumpa2 asking, I was re-watching some of your old Benchton videos earlier. I wanted to ask, how did you let Gladys move away? She asked you or just do it all of a sudden one day without your consensus. Yeah, she just did it one day without even like letting me know. It was so, so sad. Um, I was just broken hearted over that. Like I had no idea she was moving out. No one said anything about that. So it was just weird. I was just like heartbroken. I didn't check in like I think one day or two. Apparently that was all it took. It wasn't like I just let it go for ages. Um. Oh, go in the water. Go. Yeah, there we go. Get out of here. All the good bugs. There's all these stupid roach wharf things. Get out of here. All right, let's try this side again. 
Yeah, this is so much nicer already. It's because it's really easy to see all the all the trees. Away. Actually, the more I'm thinking about it, that tree right here should probably go. I feel like it's just causing me trouble. Uh, you out of here. Get out of here. Okay, let's check this side. All right, all right, here we go again. <laughs> Way too soon. Okay. Oops. Else on that side. Yeah, this is bug catching in a nutshell. But it is a really good way to make money. Should have plenty of money to buy turnips tomorrow, which will be good. I think we should just go ahead and invest it all. What do you say? I'll invest what I can. Uh, this is garbage. Garbage! Mm hmm let's see. I might just go back inside again. I feel like sometimes that just refreshes things. Ooh, hello. Get in my net. Get in my net! Come on! Yeah! Gotcha, so good! Beautiful! Okay, let's see. Thing over there. Uh, oh, but you're asking. You know how much longer I'll be streaming tonight? Um, probably have another 20 minutes or so. Don't expect too long. Again, I have stuff I'd like to do. But I also want to make a whole bunch of money, so it's kind of like I'm torn. <laughs> uh, but it's not going to be, like, probably much longer than... Wait, oh, that's the rare one, I think. Or is it? I think it is. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just not seeing this right. I'm probably just not seeing it right. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing. No, I am seeing it right. Yeah, rainbow stag. Aren't you a colorful bug? It is kind of hard to see because it looks so much like the other ones. You just want to chase it away, but it is subtly different than the other middle ones. So that's actually really good that I got that. Um, die. <laughs> uh, they are a pain. So definitely try to catch stuff there until you get one. Because unless you know what you're looking for, it's pretty hard to tell the difference between that and normal one. Uh, they sell for a lot of money, too. I think that's another 15,000 one. But they're pretty rare and hard to see. So, oh no, it's worth 10k, I'm hearing. But whatever the case. Um, alright, let's see. Give me a good bug. Where are all the good bugs at? I mean, other than the one I just got, but... I need more. I'm greedy. Ah, there's nothing. Alright, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna go in here. I guess I might as well drop off the stuff. All right, I think I know what we're gonna do. We're going to, uh, we're going to be on the island until 10 p.m. And then I'm gonna go home. Whatever I get, that's what we get. I'm gonna sell off the stuff, of course. Then tomorrow, I'm going to be doing, uh, turnip buying. Should be good. Oh, darn it, I don't know if that was a good one or not. I wasn't even looking at that. <laughs> oh, well, it probably wasn't very good. Get in the water. Go, go. Oh, yeah. Oh! Jeez, bad bugs out tonight. Derps. Derpy bugs! Um, so derpy. Oh, no! Where are they all? Get, they're all, like, replaced with these things. Okay, I'll take this butterfly. Guess I shouldn't be too picky right now. Uh, yeah, you know what? Realistically, I shouldn't. I should just be, like, scaring whatever I can. Just to clear way for other spawns. 
Get out of here, kid. Oh, wait, there's another rainbow stag. See, you can kind of tell the difference because they don't have, like, horns like a lot of the others do, or at least big ones. Yeah, nice. Huh. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. That's good. It in my net. Yeah. There's some good money. Well, like 8,000. That's decent. I'll take it. Okay, get out of here. Go. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Get. Jerk. Or jerk bug, you. Okay, I'll take that. Quick, easy money. That's what emperor butterflies are. Okay, anything over here? I'm not seeing anything. Alright, what about over here? Get out. Ooh. Hey. Hey, get in my net. Nice. Uh, let's see, Chespin414 saying, Hi, Marilyn, this is my first Animal Crossing stream. So stoked that you have Goldie. Oh, well, awesome. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about her as well. She's been pretty cool so far. Uh, let's see, get out of here. Hey, Perez saying... You use a bug net to catch bugs for money. Does it give you a net income? <sighs> Find me to send you a tarantula to find that theory out. Test that theory. Okay. Oh, got him. Revenge. Uh, let's see. That's good. All right, Danganronpa asking another question about your old bench and series. Who's your favorite? That was Pico, but am I right? I think it was Pico, actually. She was pretty... Pretty amusing. She's my adorable little watermelon panda. All right, this is not a rainbow stag. Get out of there. Um, but I did like a lot of the villagers there. I, I like Filbert a lot. He was pretty cool. I liked Hopper. He had a lot of personality. Um, this thing needs to go, go, go away, go. Shoot. I hate those things. They get really annoying when you're trying to get bugs. Ooh, there we go. That's something good. Hey, get in my net. Give me the money. Give me money. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Ooh, lioth beetle. All right, how am I doing on inventory space? We got like five minutes left. Or we have to leave the island. We have to vacate our vacation. Definitely like this layout so much better. So much better. Then I have all the distance I need to see the bugs. Oh, that's a rainbow stag. Didn't think I'd be making money on these tonight. But hey, I'll take it. Actually, probably a little too close. Well, I got it, so I, that's what's important, right? There's another butterfly. Get in my stomach. <laughs> I mean, my net. Got butterflies in my stomach! What? Such a weird term. Like, what do you think about it? It's like, um... You have butterflies in your stomach. Like, I feel really sorry for anyone who's not a native English speaker. And they had to hear that and not have a clue what the heck, um, what the heck that means. Like, idioms are one of those things that just amaze me to no end in, uh, like, other languages and stuff. Like, let's say you have, um, you know, an idiom in your language, or, you know, if you speak English, like, you have a saying, a phrase. Like, the grass is always greener on the other side, all right? Well, remember, that doesn't necessarily translate its meaning if you were to just, like, directly translate it into another language. Or if someone was learning English, they might not know that, uh... Oh, that's a golden stag. I didn't think it was. I thought it was something else. 
Um, yeah, it's just really interesting because they, like, it doesn't necessarily directly translate and, like, the meaning behind it. I don't know. I just, I love that because, you know, <laughs> sometimes you just take it literally and you're like, wait, what? Oh, really? And no, it's just a, a figure of speech. But say you're learning the language, you wouldn't know that. Or at least at first. I mean, you'll probably get the picture after a while, but... Uh, let's see. It's just one of those things that kind of amuse me, I guess. Linguistics. Three more minutes. Three more. And then we're gonna hightail it on out of here. What am I doing on inventory? I got four more bugs. If I can get about a bug a minute would be pretty bad. But I mean, you know, as long as I can do that, we'll be all right. Get out of here. Get out of here. Let's see. Ooh, there's another golden stag. All right, I got to be really slow with this thing because that is a lot of money. That's a little too slow. Until I start getting closer to it. So slightly... Yeah, one of the toughest things is figuring out the distance um, that your net will go. Because you, you know, got to get close enough, but you don't want to get too close that it runs off. So it's like, oh man, trying to figure out exactly the right distance you need be a little tricky. That's why I actually like going in at this angle. This seems a little bit easier. Okay, Mew Fangirl asking, do you get kicked off the island after a certain time, or do you just want to leave by a certain time? I just want to leave by a certain time, really. Um, let's see. Oh, it's the shadows of the trees to guide you. Saw that. Who said that? Uh, Dew Pop said that. I guess that could work as well. Pretty much whatever you use as a measuring stick or a way to judge it. I just kind of feel it out after a while. Is that just flew? It was a tiger beetle. Hmm. Okay, I think that's going to be my last bug. I'm also full on inventory space after this, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh... Ah, uh, the lovely serenade of my neighbor's motorcycles at 10 p.m. <sighs> Love it. Anyway, let's get out of here. Sell this stuff. Then get going so I can watch me some House of Cards. <laughs> oh, I need to do that. I need to do it. Okay, let's see. Well, at least we got some pretty good money tonight. Nothing new here. That's good. Or no, the rainbow stag. That's a new thing. Gotta make sure I don't sell one of those. Alright. Oh, where am I going? Take me back! Take me back! Alright. Let me out of here. Alrighty. So, let's use this opportunity to have a quick chat. Oops. Had a hiccup or something. I'll, uh... I say have a quick chat. So it was like have a quick chat or something. I hate it when that happens. You know when you're in the middle of like talking, and... like you burp or something. That's just the worst. Then you can't even stop it. You're like, oh man, <laughs> darn it. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's see. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed tonight's stream. It looked like you were having fun. We're kind of relaxed and. All that, which is good. It's definitely good to be relaxed and entertained. I think tomorrow ought to be fun. There's actually two streams tomorrow. At least for now. We'll have to see if that works out all right. I have to wake up early. Oh, I was so tired at the end of the last early one Thursday morning. Um, And, yeah, I'm doing it again tomorrow because I want to get some turnips. 
So, yeah, I'm going to take all my money that I got here and spend it on turnips. At least probably. I might end up investing some in my house. That upgrading. I can always do it later, though. I think I'd rather buy turnips. Uh, oh, I got all this money on me. Okay, I got a solution to that. I'll just put that in the bag. Um, yeah. Let me go ahead and do that. Mind me that it's there, otherwise I'm going to be sad. Oh, right. Rainbow Stag. I have to not sell that. Um, because that one needs to go to the museum. In fact, while I'm up there, I should really just deposit my money. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to sell all this stuff, and then I'm going to... I want to see who our villager will be tomorrow. I'm going to keep it a mystery again! Oh, the suspense! Oh, the suspense. Uh, let's see... All right, I want to sell everything but this delicious golden stag. Or not golden, rainbow one. Yes, that looks correct. Uh, 85,000. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, let me go up top. Drop off these bells. Drop off the rainbow beetle stag thing. And should be good. I think it's going to take another trip after this upcoming. Oh, gosh darn it, Goldie, take a bath. I can't keep doing this for you, okay? <laughs> Come on. All right, well, jeez. Practice some good hygiene there. Alrighty, let's see. I swear, though, if I see another tarantula, that's gonna be creepy. Let's see, Chespin414 asking, is there anyone's town, or anyone else's town that you'll be visiting in this series for, like, fruits and such? Well, I'll probably be giving some visits to some of the subscribers' towns starting tomorrow. Could be fun. Not entirely sure how well it'll go, but I think it'll be pretty cool. I'd like to do that more often. Um... Yeah, set up a little network. I think is a good idea. All right, take this rainbow stag here. Uh, yes. Well, I'm glad that I got that, because it's kind of a pain to get. Cool, so we've made some good progress in the museum. Nice. Now, let me drop off these bells, just so I don't forget about the, uh... 200,000 I have in my mail. Because otherwise I know I'd forget. I'd be like, where did I put all my money again? I don't remember where. I'm going to need to have a whole bunch of money on me to buy all those dang turnips. Oh, that's Phyllis, by the way. She's the late night mail office person, post office, whatever. She's kind of grouchy. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm just going to deposit my moolah here. Uh, we'll just deposit it all. I don't have no money! But I'm gonna get more money, so it's all good. It is all good. Alright, back to the, uh, the dock. Grab the rest of my bugs. At least I don't have to take any to the museum. Nice. Please don't be a tarantula. That's so scary if, like, there's one beneath you, like, this direction, because you will not see it at all. You can usually only see them if they're off in the distance. Behind you. Well, that sounds bad. Behind you, but I mean, like, the camera. Alrighty. Probably gonna be another two trips. Well, this trip and then another trip. I wish they'd let you just take, like, a huge sack of bugs straight on over to, uh, 
wherever. Okay, Danganronpa2 asking, as a first time turnip buyer, how many should I buy tomorrow morning? Well, that's a very good question. How much money do you happen to have right now? I saw a few hundred thousand bells, I think. Um, I would maybe save like a hundred or two hundred thousand bells and then try to invest the rest into it. It's a gamble, it's a risk, but more often than not, as long as you check every day in both the morning, like before um, noon and then afternoon, and get an idea of what the price is doing. Ideally, you want it to see, uh, or you want to see it go down by like four bells every day, and then start um, increasing in bells. If you see that pattern, that's definitely what you want. And then you want to save it until um, it increases even further. A spike pattern. There's large spikes and there's small spikes, from what I recall. I have to do a little bit more research on it. Uh, it's been a while. Like, I used to have this down to a science. But I do remember the ideal pattern is you see the price change, um, like, decrease by about four or so bells. Uh, hey, Warner, didn't I hear you saying you really wanted a record player? Sure, why not? Actually, I could use some music. I don't have anything that will play it right now, though. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Reciful asking, how good are turnips anyway? I only just recently got into Animal Crossing. They can be amazing, but you really have to kind of know what you're doing and pay a lot of attention to the price. Um. If you have a lot of friends or a good network of people playing Animal Crossing, you can also do pretty well with that. Because you'll just have that many more points you can check. I will explain it. I should really uh, start up a course or something. Because it can be pretty darn good for making money. Um, for whatever it's worth. Just in case you want to know why I keep singing praises of these turnips. And the stock market. Um, and my Benchton game. I actually had... Thanks to turnips, over 110 million bells. Yes, million, not thousand, million bells. It's ridiculous. And pretty much the only way to do that is through turnips. Or like an eternity on the island. So, it does, uh, you'll definitely get the most bang for your buck if you have more characters. I'm not going to be doing that early on though, but you can make a ton of money by having uh, extra characters. Just to hold on to turnips and money and stuff like that. It's an interesting process. Hopefully I will be able to teach you guys about that over the coming weeks. But it is pretty cool. I don't think I'm going to get 100 mil in like a week. Come on, guys. <laughs> but uh, no, I don't want to either. I want it to be kind of a fun process. But I think we can all make a lot of money together if we uh, find good prices on our turnips. Especially if I help teach you. The, uh, the patterns to look for. So maybe maybe I'll do something tomorrow. It probably won't be done tomorrow, but probably uh, sometime over the coming weeks I'll have some kind of tutorial or something once I get back into the swing of things. Uh, I did sell my brand new record player because I didn't really want it. I just wanted it in my catalog so I could order it at a future time. And I just want to make Tutu happy. Um, anyway, I think that is going to do it for tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed. I made a lot of money. Um, we'll have plenty of dough for, um, for tomorrow's turnip extravaganza. <laughs> Alright, anyway, thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you on the next uh, episode of Maryland's Animal Crossing New Leaf Adventures in Cheville. I don't I don't know what you call it, but yeah. Anyway, see you tomorrow.